We now have a trial date for Ken Paxton. On September 5th, the Texas Senate will convene as jury, deciding the fate of Texas's impeached attorney general. Late last night, senators approved the rules that will govern the trial. Among them, impactful implications for transparency and for the role of the defendant's wife, Angela Paxton. Our Ryan Chandler breaks down how it all will work. State Senator Angela Paxton barred from voting, but allowed to listen in as the Senate decides her husband's fate. So that will be awkward on a number of levels. But just her presence in the trial could still influence the outcome because conviction requires two thirds of the senators present. Whether she votes to acquit her husband or doesn't vote at all has the same effect. She won't be counted as a vote towards conviction. So I think some sort of compromise is reached that lets her sit there, not say a word, not vote, but in a way still basically not cast a vote to convict her husband. Everyone involved was also placed on a strict gag order. No members of the court shall discuss or comment on any matter relating to the merits of the proceedings before the court of impeachment. The only rule read aloud, reminding members that all are prohibited from speaking about the trial, including advocating in the press or to each other. The rules were taken kindly by the House and their prosecutors. House General Investigating Chairman Andrew Murr saying they respect the importance of a fair impeachment trial. And prosecutors Rusty Harden and Dick DeGarren saying the rules provide a fair trial for both sides. The trial's presiding officer promising just that. And the citizens of Texas can count on the Senate of Texas to have a fair and just trial.